Google Earth is a tool that filmmakers have been using for a little while to map some movements around the world as if to fly around the world in real life. Now, one problem with it though, is that there's very little that you can do to automate the movement from point A to B. The best you can do is clicking the plus and minus buttons to zoom in and out. Apart from that, there's really not much that you can do other than having it automatically fly into the destination. Thankfully, Google Earth now has a tool called Google Earth Studio, which is basically for filmmakers that need to animate on Google Earth. It lets you keyframe positions and rotations of the entire globe, moving from point A to B in a manner that you can control. This program right now is still in its beta, I believe, so you have to apply to be able to get accepted. Uh, you just have to send some information into Google. Uh, I got accepted and I'm just a small YouTuber, so I'm sure if I can get accepted, then pretty much anyone can. Once you finish the application, Google will send you an email if you're accepted saying that you're accepted. And from there, you can use it completely and it's completely free. You can only currently use it in Chrome because of some Chrome specific APIs that they claim. Not sure if this is them just trying to lock it into their own ecosystem or if that's actually true, not sure. I'll throw a link down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself and feel free to sign up and see if you get accepted. Now, I scanned some of the terms and conditions of Google Earth Studio, and it seems like the only thing required is to give some sort of attribution to Google Earth as a whole if you're using it. Basically, they don't want you to take off the Google Earth logo that's provided in the footage, and I'm sure putting some sort of disclaimer in the description of the video you're using it in would help as well. So let's go and check out what it actually looks like. So this is the window that you start off with. Google Earth Studio, you can create a blank project or open a new one. And then we have some more windows up here that will probably be used later on. They also provide some quick start projects that you can use with some animations that are already built in. And you can scroll through them and find something that looks good to you. Or we can just go and start a new project. We can name the project. We can use the Earth, Moon, and Mars. And then we can put our video specifications in regarding the dimensions, duration, and frame rate. So now I've put a 4K timeline in 24 frames per second with a minute and 15 seconds. So now I have my world here, I have my timeline, and I can just go in and find a specific point. So let's go and find Manhattan. We are going to keyframe everything here. We're gonna to go to, let's say 10 seconds. Now we're gonna move all the way across the United States. And I think this is Los Angeles. So we're gonna go all the way to this little beach and we're going to keyframe everything here. Now playing it back didn't look all that nice even though it didn't render everything. But I think what we need to do is we have to zoom out. Now let's click render and see what happens. Now there are some weird things with how it zooms in and out. It seems like sometimes if it zooms in, it just all of a sudden hits you with a fully rendered version of the nice detailed amount, but then it doesn't seem like it zooms all the way in in like a linear fashion, even if you keyframe it that way. But that might just be something I have to play around with a little more to understand. Um, but once we render everything, we can go ahead and rename it. We can select a destination. We can also save it as an image sequence or an MP4. We can select the frames and dimensions to render it into. We can also put where the copyright notice attribution is. This is the thing that Google Earth expects you to leave on when you're using this. And then there's some more advanced settings. Um, like if you want to have more of a Google Maps view, you can also put map style or just leave everything as clean with no labels. And you can select the texture quality so then once you're all done, you can select submit or start if you use an image sequence, and then it's going to start rendering everything up. Now I still have a lot more to improve while I'm using Google Earth Studio, but 
that's just a basic view of how to use it. The way that those keyframes work still boggles my mind and I'm still gonna have to try and figure out how to do that better. But it is open for you to use now, so I'd recommend if you're ever looking to do any sort of animation on Google Earth, feel free to check this out and try it out for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, drop a like, and if you loved it, drop a subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.